Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. The troubled healthcare.gov website on the hot seat today. Developers of the website are testifying in front of a House committee about the widespread problems with the site's launch. So we wanted to know, if you haven't signed up yet, how does this affect you? And tonight, problem solver Susan Hogan reveals something you may not know but should. Well, what you need to know is that Health Source RI's website and the federal government's healthcare website are two separate sites. While both no doubt have their share of issues since the launch, Health Source RI's website's problems, we're told, are minimal. Designers of healthcare.gov came to Capitol Hill to face lawmakers' questions about the troubled website. This whole battle is about whether Americans can have affordable health care. And this system is not helping in this debate. The website builders told lawmakers their individual parts worked as planned, but there wasn't enough testing. We didn't see the full kind of integrated end-to-end -end system testing that you're talking about. Why not? Until the couple of days uh, leading up to the launch. Shouldn't, it have, shouldn't we have had that? Ideally, yes. Some of the problems include being stuck in an endless freeze zone on a web page, being told to log in after you already are, or also getting kicked out of the system while you're trying to input your personal information. Now, those are the problems on this website, healthcare.gov, which is run by the federal government. But if you live in Rhode Island, you're not shopping for health insurance here. You're being directed to this website, Health Source RI, and we're told the glitches here are minimal. But for healthcare.gov, it is a different story. The decision to go live with the website October 1st without fully testing the site was a bad move, according to some lawmakers. Amazon and eBay don't crash the week before Christmas, and Pro Flowers doesn't crash on Valentine's Day. Democrats say Americans are getting coverage online, but want healthcare.gov working as well as other popular websites. Now, Republicans argue the bungled rollout points to bigger problems with the Affordable Care Act itself. They want the law suspended until problems are fixed. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News. WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi has been covering Obamacare's developments every step of the way. You can find more details by going to WPRI.com and clicking on Nisi's Notes.